Good morning, everybody. This is Heidi Rocky of Rocky's Rad Resources, bringing you just a bit of professional development today from my RV. About two years ago, I stopped teaching to travel with my family and homeschool my children um, in my RV. And even though I'm not in the classroom, I still do some videos here to help out other teachers. Some are math mini lessons, and some are professional development, and soon I will be starting a whole series to help you teach reading comprehension. So please follow my YouTube channel to find more, but today but today we're going to launch right into a professional development all about creating tutorial videos with your students. Now this is talking about Khan Academy type videos where your students are the teacher. They have a chance to create the video about a topic. Um, I specifically do them about math topics, but they can really be done about anything. At the end of this trimester, my students made them about grammar rules, and it was really impactful to see how much they had learned. I'd never done it with grammar, and it was, it was amazing. So really, these can be done with any topic. And the question, of course, is always, why on earth should I take the time, they are time consuming, to have my students make videos? And there's a ton of reasons. First and foremost, it helps your students demonstrate an understanding of a topic. So, so much more impactful than just a test, a multiple choice test, or even a written essay. These really show, do you understand what you learned about? Do you understand the topic enough to truly explain it to somebody else? Okay, that's a huge piece. And while they're doing that, they're also cementing their own knowledge together. So they're demonstrating for you. They're building on their knowledge. It provides them that opportunity to dig a little bit deeper because they think they know it, right? And then they go to explain it, and they're like, well, I'm not sure why that is that. And so they start to dig deeper. They start to build a, a deeper understanding and a better appreciation for whatever topic it is that they're presenting. It builds up confidence because all of a sudden they're the expert and they're like, hey, wait a minute, I do understand this. I know it enough that I can be the teacher. Kids love being the teacher. It encourages a good vocabulary and I'll show you on my planning sheet one of the key pieces that they have to plan out and they have to make sure they execute is good academic vocabulary within their tutorial video. And so we're encouraging them to use it and be proud of it. It integrates technology. That's a huge deal these days, right? Everything has to integrate technology, and we're not quite sure how to do it, and so it becomes an add-on. This is a natural way to use technology to up the game. It's not just an add-on. It really increases what your students can do. It gives kids a chance to be an expert at a topic, and that builds confidence, that um, gives your class an expert on a certain topic that they can go to. You can say, hey, I know you're struggling with this, but so-and-so made a video about it not long ago. Why don't you go and check in with them? That gives you your class an expert. Um, it shares their knowledge with other students. If you don't want them actually going to that person, you're in the middle of class or whatnot, you can say, hey, so-and-so made a video about it, and I have a link to it on our Edmodo. Go and check it out. So now they're teaching somebody else without even having to take time out of class to teach somebody else. And it, again, encourages learning from one another. Students need to know that we are not the only experts. They need to start to collaborate. They need to start to learn from each other, and we need to start it at a very young age. I started creating tutorial videos with second graders. Second, third, fourth, and fifth is what my experience has been with, but this is really something that can be done, I would say, second grade all the way up through college level students depending on what your topic is, it's just kind of a generic way for kids to really report out what they know and become an expert and share it with each other. So the key to me to doing tutorial videos and, and the key that I talk about with my students is that you have to plan it out. It's, you know, just like teaching, we don't go walk into the classroom, stand up front and say, all right, I'm going to teach you my very best lesson today. We have to do some planning in order for that to be effective, in order to know that we know what we're talking about. And if you think about the best lesson that you've ever taught, the best unit you ever did, not only did it require a lot of planning, but the planning is where our learning happens. The planning is where our learning as a teacher 
we cement everything. And so the planning, even if your students never create the video, the planning is the most important part. Okay? I use this sheet, and I'll link this in my description. It's available for sale at my store for $2. $2, you can use it so many times. It's the most, uh, it's the best buy that you'll have for your class this year, I promise. But this is my video planning sheet, and if you see, the first half of it is on planning. Not only do they have to pick a
um, that sort of thing. But then we also had um, a playlist on YouTube. And so the playlist was private. And it was just our videos from our class. And so that way we did have a few that you know showed faces and whatnot. And we could put those on there. And we just had it all linked up. And that again, they're sharing it with their parents. They're sharing it with other teachers. And they're sharing it with each other. That's a big piece of this is learning from each other. That is why I really believe in creating tutorial videos with your students. It's, it's just a huge way to get them learning, get them showing you what you learn, get them teaching each other. And everything that I have showcased today and everything that I have talked about will be in the description links. Thank you so much for watching. For more videos taught from my RV, because that's where I am right now, but luckily, thanks to technology, I can get them to you. Please feel free to follow the YouTube channel, follow the blog, Rocky's Red Resources. I've got all kinds of stuff for teachers and for students, and I'm happy to help out in any way that I can. Have a great day.